New from Volusia County, only eyewitness news obtained the numbers from Daytona Beach, and it turns out more and more homeless people are ending up in the county jail. The city still hasn't been able to get a shelter off the ground for many reasons, but Channel 9's Mike Springer found out why the ACLU is now monitoring the city's new policies on the homeless and how it's impacting them and taxpayers. The ACLU is closely monitoring the new rules and policies the city of Daytona Beach put into place regarding the homeless. Even though they are homeless and they are poor, remind you again, they still have the same rights as you and I do. The city passed a new ordinance last month allowing it to trespass anyone who violates any city ordinance, rule, or regulation as well as state laws while within a city facility, building, or outdoor area, including city parks. Because this homeless shelter out here is still at least a year away from being finished, some people worry that doesn't leave the homeless with a lot of options on where they can spend the night. County records obtained by Eyewitness News show more and more have been spending the night at the county jail. Daytona Beach police booked 1,232 homeless people into the jail in 2016. In 2017, it was 1,441. And a little more than halfway through 2018, it's already more than 1,188. That's not sitting well with the ACLU. We think that being poor and being homeless should not be criminal. It shouldn't be criminalized. And it may not sit well with taxpayers either. County records show taxpayers have shelled out more than $5.6 million to house Daytona Beach's homeless over the last three years, a figure that some say is sure to climb. Reporting in Daytona Beach, Mike Springer, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. We reached out to the city for comment on the ACLU's concerns, but have not heard back.